What's up, boo? Gang, what's up, baby? What's up in the life of a tourist for the month of August, boo? How are y'all doing? Are y'all temperance in y'all self? Y'all being truthful to y'all self? A lot of y'all is getting some communications and births. Hmm. Are you grounding yourself? Are you telling the right people to fuck them because they need to be dropped on the fucks? Fuck y'all. Are you telling them next to us? Because y'all be super nice and trying to please everybody. That must have died during the retrograde behind me. It's got to go. Can't go with you. Okay? Gotta live gotta be live your higher self at your best self. You understand? Let's get it. So this will be from the first to the fifteenth of August for the sign of Taurus. Y'all showing out with these views. I am so thankful. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. We cuss, we fuss, we, we don't we don't argue, we don't do all of that shit. We don't pass judgment. We do share, we do enlighten one another, we uplift one another, we evolve, we grow. You understand? So with that said, thank you for all the likes, the comments, the shares. The love, the recommendations, all of that. Also, I got a reading special for the next two days. Y'all not already missed the date. So I have two days left on this reading special where there's a special on pretty much every reading that I have, uh, with the exception of the $10 reading. That's every day, every day, all day, same day reading, okay? But Mocha is making sure I'm knocking all of my appointments out as soon as I get them so I don't allow myself to be booked. Work smarter, not harder, all right? So let's get it. This is for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and as well as Cross Watchers of the Sign of Taurus. This is your first time you're on my channel. Hey, boo, hey. How you doing? I may cuss a little bit or a lot. Don't, I stop saying all that because y'all should know I cuss by now. Fuck it. Let's roll. All right? So, my uh, first messages that I have for you guys, Taurus, between the 1st and the 15th of August is the Crystal Angels or Cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay? If I sister, 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 stay with me. Mercury on my ass right now. <laughs> all right. <laughs> It says stress reduction. De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive. It says this card appears whenever there's a need to de-stress your mind, body, schedule, and so forth. You already know which life areas are triggering your elevated stress levels. God and your guardian angels are empowering you to reduce them by taking charge of your schedule and surroundings. You are encouraged to introduce stress management practices into your daily life such as prayer, meditation, gentle exercise, Time spent in nature, fun hobbies, massage, naps, and chemical-free diets. This is also a message about simplifying your life. Look for tasks you can release. Uh, look for tasks where you can release or ways to clear clutter from your schedule. When there is too much vying or being for your attention, for your attention, holy mercury, you will feel fragmented. It's possible to get addictively hooked on drama, under the mistaken belief that it is exciting. <laughs> Who the hell think drama excited? What are angels? That's none of my bit. Okay. However, it's much more pleasurable to have peaceful excitement in which you create the soothing and harmonious life that you desire and deserve. Okay. What you stressing for? Put that shit down. Put them fucks down. Half of them fucks don't even belong to you. Put them down. Okay. Put them down for 500. Alex, that shit's heavy and it hurts. Let's, let's put it down. Okay. You can't be nobody's savior if they don't want to save they self. Don't save them. They don't want to be saved because if they wanted to be saved, they would do something completely different about their circumstances versus crying to you. They have to let God be who he is. Just like you're going through your journey, everybody else is on a journey. It's up to you to decide if you're going to pick somebody else's damn burdens up, okay? You can't save everybody, Taurus. Put the cape in the closet and put it in a damn zipper bag and put that motherfucker back, far back behind. Put them back behind them damn roller skates from the 90s, all right? And I ain't going to tell you how old I am the most. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, Taurus, between the 1st and the 15th of August, a lot of y'all will be possibly spending time in nature, okay? You will find a lot of enlightenment in the month of um, August in the midst of nature, okay? A lot of y'all are working on grounding yourself. Some of y'all, the coin is going to be boom, 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 raining coins, okay? It's going to be raining coins, all right, for a lot of y'all. So for those of you who've been um, looking for work, okay, or trying to find a permanent job, it's coming, honey, okay? You have to ground yourself. Also, a lot of y'all are going to be, there was something uh, possibly before that you weren't trying to see, okay? A lot of y'all 
are masking your emotions, okay? And that's going to stop during the first and the 15th. That has to change, okay? This dragon sign, this picture lets me know that that's coming to a halt. Some of y'all are going to be finding out that your new mothers or that someone around you has a baby on the way, okay, Taurus, who are men. This could definitely be you have a baby on the way, okay, possibly with the Pisces or Sagittarius, okay. Some of y'all are tempering yourselves when it comes to dealing with the mother figure. Issues with mothers during this time and fathers, those issues with mothers could actually come up during this retrograde period. I believe telling y'all, but I believe y'all, I believe me telling y'all that before, but I'm strongly seeing that a lot of y'all are going to take the mask off during this time. So let me pull this damn thing back. Maybe you see, it's still a glare. I need another camera, whatever. Um, I get mad looking at stuff like this, so I'm not going to. But a lot of y'all are going to be taking y'all mask off during this time. You're going to unmask your emotions about things. You know, no, that's not the fuck okay. That's not what I want. No, we're not moving like this. We're not doing it. And I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. That's how y'all moving during the first of the 15th. I'm going to show your ass better than I can tell you, okay? A lot of y'all have been, I'm not going to say pushovers to people but a lot of y'all have allowed people to kind of dominate their way into your life and tell you what they feel like you should be doing and a lot of y'all have just kind of mentally just been moving with it and going with it and for so long that now you're starting to put them take their blindfold off okay and take their mask off like hold the fuck up <laughs> who me couldn't be <laughs> then who okay because i beg to differ I ain't begging for shit, but to differ, all right? That's what y'all, a lot of these people, you're during this time, people may want to give you ultimatums during this time. I am seeing that, especially if you're dealing with air signs. You may get ultimatums during the first of the 15th of August. And I, like I said, uh, who you talking to? Not me, couldn't be, then who? Okay, because the only thing I'm going to beg is to differ, honey, all right? So, or your fucking partner, how about that? But a lot of y'all are definitely tempering yourselves when it comes to a, 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 some form of a mother. This could be a grandmother, a sister, a baby mother, um, a friend that is a mother. But some of y'all definitely could be finding out somebody's pregnant. And some of y'all uh, are going to be getting some major downloads when you go into nature. Spirit is calling you literally into nature. Some of y'all are saying goodbye to the way that you used to do things, the way that you used to handle people, the way that you used to deal with some people, period. Some of y'all are literally allowing people to move the hell away. I don't want to say that this is a literal death, but for during the first to the 15th, you may find out that somebody may actually physically die, and I send my condolences to you, you know, in advance, but, um, or if somebody just recently passed, I'm sorry, baby, you know, but it had to happen because something or someone, something or someone is going to be reborn, okay? I also see some of you through a child, somebody is being reincarnated. I something about the child's eyes. When that child gets here, whoever I'm talking to, look at that child's eyes. They're going to look real familiar. They're going to be some mother figure. It could be a grandmother or a mother that would just recently pass. They're going to incarnate very quickly to come back. Okay? I like to move off of subjects like that because I don't like the ignorant-minded people that come for me. Um, but, you know, I've been doing really well lately with that, so I'm not going to claim it. All right, Spirit, please give me... Messages for the final sign of Taurus between the 1st and the 15th of August. What can they expect during this time? Yeah, some of y'all are going to cut off people up, or people are going to cut you off um, during this time, okay? Definitely having to do with an air sign. You may have a general Libra Aquarius mad at you, okay? This person does love you, or they have love for you, or you have love for this person. However, you just want. You want to have victory. You want to walk away from doing things that you once did or doing things the way that you once did them. But some of y'all, y'all, um, there's going to be a change in the dynamic when it has to do with the Leo. Okay. I feel like if you've been having communication issues with that person in the past, maybe um, there were outsiders in y'all relationship not allowing y'all to move forward. Outsiders that had a like naysayers that had something to say about your relationship, y'all cutting off that shit and y'all going to move forward in a passionate way and start over completely. And there is love there, but it, it's it's with you being truthful to yourself and everybody around you. I'm not with the shits. I don't care how I did shit, how I handled you last week. This week, watch what you say to me. Okay? The page of cups. And there is love there, especially if you're dealing with an air sign. Also, someone who you have children with. You could have walked away 
or there could be communication issues with someone who you already have children with. Okay, this could be some mother figure. You could be the mother. You could have communication issues either with an air sign, okay, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is wanting to start over with you, but in order to do so, y'all going to have to end this cycle and walk into a new cycle with doing things. Y'all cannot do things the way that you did them in the past because that's the end result is towards you're not ending up happy, okay? Some of y'all could definitely be tempering yourselves when it comes to a Pisces because during this time, especially if this is the mother, um, if you're the mother of, you have a baby father that's a Pisces or a baby mother that's a Pisces, this person wants to victoriously move forward with you. Now, there is some secrets. There might be uh, a form of deception that is going on that you're going to find out about. Definitely involves a third party situation. It's someone I feel like intuitively already knows and it's really bothering them. But I feel like because there's been a period of separation, they really can't speak too much on it. So they feel they're kind of trapped in their mind about what they want to do during this time. All right. Okay, why is the moon? Why is this temperance card here? There? Why is the temperance here? My twins. Yeah, somebody wants to move past, okay? Somebody's trying to be patient and keep the love going, still remain nurturing. They want to move past, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign. This could be a Sagittarius, okay? This person is being defensive towards you. You're being defensive towards this person, but this person is wanting a new beginning, a new beginning with you. But there seems to be some form of a third party that is kind of not allowing the situation to start anew. Now, during this time, a third party, possibly with the Leo, okay, um, if you were dealing with the Leo and there was maybe someone cut someone off in the past, this person is wanting to come back and start anew, okay? They want victory with you. I feel like a lot of these people are coming back from your past and instead of you just feeling, you know, a lot of y'all, some signs have a different reaction. Taurus, it's, it's kind of overwhelming because a lot of these people, a few of these people in your eyes could be people who actually were good people that maybe in the past you didn't know how to appreciate them. Maybe life has been your best teacher, okay? Some of y'all, somebody who really betrayed you or maybe you betrayed someone, okay, and could be involving a child, all right, or someone who has a child around, you could have a child, but there's some form of deception here. There was a third party situation, possibly a child was created. Um, someone got cut off in the past. This person is now wanting to come and start a new. They wanted to come back and fix it. They want to water their own damn grass. Why you gonna let them? Okay. People do change. Okay, for some of y'all, you have an Aquarius that is juggling um, either you. You could be juggling two water signs, Taurus. One younger than you. Um, you know, one could be younger than you. One who you have children with, and one that's younger than you. You could also have um another Earth sign that's dealing with Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo that's juggling yourself and um, a water sign, or with someone that they have children with. Yeah, somebody's wanting to turn the situation around, okay? Somebody's wanting to reunite, and they know in order to reunite, they're going to have to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. But there may be some damn communication issues on how they deliver that truth. And for some of y'all, you just feeling like, uh, especially if it's dealing with a water sign, okay, or an air sign, I don't even know if I want to continue with this shit. I'm tired. I'm focusing on my money, but at the same time, I can't say that I'm not burdened by all of these damn thoughts because I love you, but you don't know how to handle me. So for some of y'all, this person wants victory. <laughs> some of y'all want to victoriously move forward with the fire sign that possibly cut you off in the past or there was some sort of shift in dynamic, okay? Or this could be you wanting to do this with a fire sign, but the end result for some of y'all is going to be starting over anew. For some of y'all, y'all just cutting y'all losses and just learning from it. You know, like, hell no, I'm moving forward, okay? Some of y'all are coming out of a cycle with the water sign. That was once tumultuous, okay, and then going into a new one that is, y'all just need to communicate because I feel like there's a lot of fighting going on uh, around Taurus, water signs, air signs, and fire during this time. And it all has to do with third parties, getting past deception and betrayal, communication issues, somebody want to live in the damn past. You know, and I feel like especially this is I'm seeing a lot of children involved in this reading. This if there's children around watching this shit, baby. I'm not one to judge, but just I can't tell you what to do in your house, but you know, Taurus, at some point what I'm even seeing and feeling, I'm just really trying to 
paint it up and make it look pretty for y'all, okay? But what I'm really feeling with this is shit gotta stop, especially if it's, if it's surrounding if it's surrounding a Pisces. Some of y'all are gonna be moving away from a Pisces. Some of y'all are gonna be moving away from a Sagittarius. Some of y'all are going to be cutting off the air sign during this time, and some of y'all may be starting over with a Leo. Okay. Yeah, some of y'all are going to receive some communication from a Leo. This person communicates childishly, and some of y'all got a Leo stalking y'all, okay? This person is a soulmate to you. They want to start over. They want to have a renewal. They want to let you know I've changed, okay? But there's also some deception that is going to be revealed to you, and you're going to have to make a judgment call if you want to move forward or if you want to just recreate with this person, okay? And it's totally, it's solely your decision. All right, but you have to unmask your true feelings, okay, and quit focusing on work and things of that nature and using that shit as a distraction or some sort of like crutch to stop you from making a damn decision. Be true to yourself, Taurus. You got what is it that you want, boo? What is it that you want? If you want newness in your heart, because some of y'all want newness, but on the outside you're portraying fuck you. But you got to, the, the, the realness starts with you. And there is going to be rebirths and newness because there's butterflies everywhere in this deck. I see dragonflies everywhere. I see the sun card in this thing. You got an ace of rods. You got the ace of cups. You, so the, there is passion. There is love. There needs to be better communication because all the sword cards out here are sort the ten of swords, the five of swords, the damn, uh, what is this? Pages. All the sword cards on here depict some form of external, external naysayers. It, it depicts some form of deception. It depicts some form of them childish communication, stalking. You know, I it just I have the all these the, the cups that's on here are like I'm gonna call them childish cups. Besides the six of cups, because that's a soulmate card. You know what I'm saying? Or it could also uh, interpret someone that you have children with as someone who you possibly know since you were younger. But Taurus, there is a lot of love here. Cut the third party shit if you're not with the shits. Now, if you with the shits, don't go out here and promise nobody no promise of future if you know you with the shits. Realness starts with you. What you want to do, my babies? You know, I don't judge. I'm going to keep it all the way funky, but I ain't going to deny what I see. There's a form of deception, possibly dealing with a water sign. My nose got the itchy when I said it. Strong emphasis on Scorpio and Pisces. More so out of the water signs. What you going to do, baby? Make a decision. I'm here for you because, you know, I got the reading specials. Hit me up if you need a reading. I will walk you through it. Let me know. I love you, babes. I see y'all mid-month August. Uh, uh, unless I see y'all before that, uh, uh, get money. Uh, uh. <laughs> Bye, boo.